welcome to another video in this video i am going to talk about why we need composite what are they and what are the advantages of the composite material always engineers look for a material which meet the specific operating conditions of the environment the way of achieving it is in two ways one is called as alloying another is synthesis of composite materials alloy alloy is a combination of two or more metals resulting in modifying the properties of one of the components if you want to take the advantage of the both the materials then we have to go for the composite so composite material combination of two or more materials resulting in better properties than those of the individual components used alone take an example if you wanted to design a power line we need a material which is having a good electrical conductivity and sufficient strength if we use aluminum it gives you the good conductivity but the strength is low if you use the steel you get the strength but you doesn't get the conductivity when you make a combination of steel and aluminum so we can going to achieve the required strength and the required conductivity to achieve it so we have to form a composite material between the aluminum and the steel thus a composite material is a combination of two or more materials work together to give a unique properties to the composite which we won't get it in alloying composite material consists of fiber which is a discontinuous material which takes the load which is we call it as a reinforcement material another is a matrix material which is a continuous material which will give shape and size to the composites the combination of fiber and matrix are going to give you the composite materials composite materials are having higher strength and stiffness with low density compared to the bulk materials here you can see the properties of the fiber material and matrix material how they improve when we make a composite out of them thank you for watching this particular video